Teen, hoeveel hout kom bevat het om een groeilamp in te skrif? Oom, Petrus gaan jy hoor. Hey, ek ken die hier nie. Is niks, want die lichte hier moet af wees soos hulle die TV stier. <laughs> Sorry, it's his bachelor's. The people have some strange traditions, eh? Ma, I get the date. What is that? What's your name? It's another one of those. Everybody go. Everybody go. I'm not funny. 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 I'm not you pay the baller for me. I want 65 cows. It's more than President Mandela paid for Krasamachan. Oh. If you break your heart, I'm going to forget about the world and take revenge. You, me. Yeah, I'm sure you just like me. You don't want the trailer to end. The film has been selected to play at the Seattle Film Festival, where over 400 films from 70 countries will be showcased to 150,000 attendees. And with us today is Zetu Lomo, who plays Dinky in the film. Uh, we're hoping to get uh, Lance Samuels, who's in our Cape Town studio. We're having a bit of a problem with the studio there, but uh, hopefully he will be able to chat to us as well. He's one of the producers of the film. It's so good to have you in studio. Thank Welcome you. to Morning Live. Thank you. I love it. I mean, ever since I've seen this trailer, and it frustrates me I haven't seen the movie because yeah. I've only seen the trailer. I mean, that looked like so much fun to it work on. It was so much fun. Was it was it? great fun. It yeah. was a great honor also because it was my first like major fil feature film yeah. and my first lead role. So I had great fun shooting that movie. And, and what was it like playing Zetu as a character? Um, it was great. It wasn't so far off. Finding Dinky wasn't so far off as myself. Yeah. But Dinky's like the business-driven, uh, go-getter kind of girl. So, I mean, I'm, I'm also a go-getter, but in the arts field. Okay. <laughs> so, but it was absolutely fun. Yeah. And discovering all the differences between the Afrikaans and the Zulu and laughing it off, it was awesome. Was it a big learning curve for you as well, yeah. playing this? Yeah, it was a big learning curve. Because also, like, as much as I'm Zulu, I don't know a lot about the Lobola process. As a girl, it's not like you're a part of it like yeah. that, you know what I mean? So it was also interesting watching the scenes as they were shooting them. So I'd be behind the scene and, you know, <laughs> watching how it's being done and also discovering things about the Afrikaans um, culture and how much we actually have in common. Yes. So it was just all Really? Like so you found a lot of, of similarities yes. between the Zulu and the Afrikaans yes. culture? Like what? Doilies. Doilies. Those, the, you know, those yes. uh, old elephants, the plastic covering of the sofa. Yeah. And those things at yeah. the back of the chairs. Yes, is, you also, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. We, we all got those. <laughs> <laughs> we got the same furniture taste. That's what's up. <laughs> I love it. What, what drew you to the role? I mean, when you saw the script, um, did you look at this and say, I've, I have to play her? I auditioned. I, 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 get, I got the audition brief from my agent, Munyin, and I auditioned. I gave it my best and they loved me and I thought, awesome. But when I got the script and I read it for the first time, I was just finished. Yeah. I was laughing from the beginning to the end and I just thought to myself, I need to get this role yeah. and do it justice and I got it. And oh, it that's awesome. amazing. Well, your co-host, I mean, what, what was it like playing, playing, playing alongside him? It was awesome, honestly, because um, he has been in the industry for longer than I have and I've learned much from him. I've also learned much from the director. Just working along Edwin, I've learned a lot, yeah. a real lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a scene where your character is about to be spray painted by Edwin yeah. uh, uh, for a rugby game. I mean, oh. Tell us about this moment on the set. It was so cold Yeah. because that, that paint is freezing. So now you stand there and, and you just get airbrushed with all this golden paint. Oh my but gosh. you see, it's not the painting that's the problem, it's the removing of the the paint that's the problem <laughs> that was not fun i can imagine all. how long did it take to get off um an hour an and hour then you still get, get home and you're going oh oh there's some oh, gold yeah. you know the days afterwards i can imagine <laughs> exactly. you're taking it off but now it's not only um local that i, I think people are, are loving it if this was also shown in seattle yes, now is. what was the reaction from audiences there well first it was shown in los angeles at the mm. pan-african film festival and the audience rates were like the rating was awesome because everybody was really happy and excited to see the film. They, it's, it's refreshing for people overseas to see a South African film which isn't so serious and so depressing. And it's nice to see a universal story told and everybody relating to it, you know? And, and right now, it's, it's also won the Audience Choice Award at the Sedona Film Festival. And now it's been accepted to the Seattle Film Festival. So it's just awesome. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's really amazing. And yeah. what's it done for you? I mean, let, let's get personal now wow. in terms of your career. 
Well, I'm, I, it's, this just for the past two months, it's just been Fanny Fariz Lobola and yeah. going to the um, premiere and it's just meeting so many people and everybody going, aren't you that girl? Yes. I'm like, hmm, which one? Yeah. <laughs> like, I so, don't know, but your hair. I'm like, I cut my hair. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so then they're like, oh, no, it's great. But like the directors and producers are like loving it. I am so happy about that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just so upset that we can't be talking to Lance. We've got Lance in our oh, Cape Town no. studio. Uh, we saw him earlier, but unfortunately, it seems like we've got a problem with our, our sound oh. and the, the desk in, in Cape Town. But uh, oh. there he is. He's waving at us. He's pointing at his ear. <laughs> Lance, hello. He can't hear us, but, um, or you can hear us. Okay, but we just can't hear him, unfortunately. Oh. But uh, l l there he is. All right, <laughs> that's, the, that's the producer of it. And what was it like working with the producer and the director on this show? Well, uh, with the producer, I must say, with meeting, I met Lance officially on the rap party. And he was really excited about the whole entire shoot. He was over the moon. He was probably the happiest person I first saw. Like, is it? oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got to know you first. And dude, when this thing comes out, it's going to be huge. I'm like, thanks, Lance. Yeah. So he feels like, yeah, he's all chuffed. <laughs> then he got to work with me. Had you read the book before you got the, the, the script? No. You hadn't? I hadn't. No? And I still haven't, which is not a good thing, but I'd really love to. I think you should. I think I should. I think this is a good time <laughs> it's a now. Good time. Wow. Wow. So listen, was this a glimpse into your future? Perhaps not. Not saying that you're going to maybe marry a white guy, but we're talking 65 cows. Ooh. Is that is that perhaps how much you can go for? Who knows? <laughs> Who, Who knows? knows? You must ask the real to me, Sadi, my yeah. dad. <laughs> all right, we'll have to give him a call. Yes. Um, all right, I've just been told that we've got Lance on the line now. Okay, so we've got you on the phone, Lance. How are you doing this morning? Ah, good morning. Good, good to have. I'm so glad we can talk to you. Let's just very quickly ask you. I mean, what what drew you to this novel? Why did you want to make it a movie? I, you know, it was a script. It was all about the story. It was such an amazing story. Um, I just uh, handed it to me about two years ago, and the minute I read it, I knew it had to be made. It was all about the story. I can imagine. I mean, it, it just, you can see that it's been so well translated. And, uh, you know, we, we've, uh, we've been talking about um, the Seattle Film Festival being shown in Los Angeles. You know, what's it been like? Did you, did you get what you hoped that you wanted from the international audiences? Well, we made the movie for South African audiences, and anything over and above that was a bonus for us. So the fact that it's been well accepted and well received overseas is just amazing for South African film industry and for the media itself. It's just a really, really exciting time for us in the movie. What about local reactions? What's that been like? The, the movie opened a week ago. We had a fantastic opening weekend, and the reviews have been amazing, and the response has been amazing. So we're really, really thrilled where we're at at the moment with the ball. Lance, what else have you worked on? I mean, this, this obviously we know, I suppose maybe this is going to be your, your huge claim to fame, or is it? Is there something else that you've done before this? Yeah, you and I spoke about a year and a half ago when we did the Bang Bang Club. Oh, um, don't embarrass a, me like that, of course. Yes, Lance. Yeah. We did the Bang Bang Club. We, we've also done one of Leon Schuster's movies, and we've got a great movie coming out by Lake in the New Year called The Great Son of Africa, which is the Bram Fisher story. So we're very excited about that. That's incredible. So when, is that, when did you say that was coming out? We start personal photography in uh, October this year and releasing in 2014. That's incredible. Well, Lance, thank you so much. I'm glad we got to talk to you. Uh, you got an amazing view behind you, as always, in our Seapoint studios in Cape Town. Enjoy it. It is it. amazing being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. Well, there's Lance uh, Zetu. Thank you for talking thank to you. us. Thank you. Congratulations to both of you for, I think, what uh, many South Africans are enjoying as a movie. I'm certainly going to get out there and watch it. Thank so you very good much. Good luck. Uh, Fani Fariz Labola, it's uh, around the country. You can see it at, uh, at uh, movie theatres and uh, go and enjoy it. Local is lacquer.